Shalom and good day. This is Tehillim29 back again for another anime review. And in this anime review, I'll be covering Cyborg 009 Call of Justice. And I must admit, this is actually one series that I have really enjoyed watching on Netflix. I definitely enjoy it more than, than Devil Man Crybaby because with this particular series, they also did a crossover with devil man um also on netflix and i really enjoyed the crossover that they did with cyborg 009 slash devil man and i feel that with that story it really respected both of those works so now to move into the main review of cyborg 009 call of justice but one thing with this review i will not be covering the last episode because i'll be watching the last episode after this and i'll still be giving the rating in regards to the story the soundtrack whatever else at the end um so starting off with episode one it's called a Tem a tempestuous visitor um to which it gives us a bit of a To which it gives us a bit of a bringing a warning about a future and a request from Lucy Davenport confronts Gilmore and the cyborgs about their past. And I must admit this first episode was really good because in it, it did sort of like bring a lot of Easter eggs in regards to say the older series and you got to see pictures from those older series and and of course you did actually have like the key characters own up and say yes we are these people from these events but this is what also occurred here um as we move into the second episode it's called the unblessed and we learn that there's a group of people who are called the unblessed and we also as we also learn a little bit more about them like throughout further episodes and during this time they the cyborgs in cyborg 009 call of justice uh, they enter or they end up encountering these people of the blessed <laughs> and end up fighting to basically defend and protect themselves to which in this case the un then comes in we end up encountering one called the cowboy uh, we also link uh one that's called linked uh, moving into episode three something wicked this way comes F though they believe Belu uh, lucy's story about the existence of the blessed the cyborgs aren't sure that they are enemies the teacher has no such doubts moving into episode four which is called the guardians to which the United Nations Guardians appear to the cyborgs like at their main location where they live and this time with them turning up there they're not there to um, help them out but they're to arrest them because now that it's sort of like they've been set up and framed for a crime and now that they must in a way try to clear their name so moving into episode 5 we've got the House of Fortune now fugitives, the cyborgs flee a battle uh, with the guardians, Joe and Francois, uh, still want peace and the group splits into sort of like groups to find members of the blessed and in the process they do end up coming across a member of the blessed uh, to which we learn that this particular member that they do encounter of the blessed is somewhat able to return the cyborgs or the cyborgs that they touch and encounter into being human beings again. And I must admit, that is really interesting. I, I did find it interesting as well when it was applied to the story and also the characters. But due to 
unforeseen circumstances in the story, we do get the cyborgs in some way to return to who they are. And I really like that too because we get to see that in Joe's perspective and, and also the other members' perspectives too. And there's also something that happens with the character of Ivan in the series. As he too is sort of believed to be maybe a blessed or maybe um, one of the members of the blessed believe Ivan might also be a blessed member but just unknown to the world because of his fights with one of their own members. Moving into episode 5 we have Towards the Truth and we have Joe and Francois obtain an answer to one of their questions from the monk who is also one of the blessed but their reactions are different meanwhile the guardians attack the dolphin free which is basically the cyborg ship and whilst they're being attacked they send out one of their main members who is sort of like very water centric and he's there to sort of like protect them for a certain time time and point jumping into episode seven it's called breaking point uh, as igarashi releases jet link and they attempt to rescue ivan before he's kidnapped by one of the blessed joe is forced to take drastic measures so in this particular part of the story uh, joe has to make a decision of sorts as to okay does he go to save fingo or does he have to do something else instead so due to the situation occurring um ivan does end up in the hands of the blessed but he chooses to be with them willingly so he can learn more about them and also about what they actually want to do jumping into episode eight which we have a character which is also a blessed villain um he's called emperor and so hence the title of the episode is called emperor uh, igarashi and davenport return to new york while the cyborgs and guardians break into the factory where they believe ivan is being held and they do actually go to where that factory is they do end up catching up with ivan and it's really nice to see what they do in that time period. And it's within this little time period that Ivan does make the decision to stay with the Blessed. But he is also trying to work them out whilst they're sort of trying to work out is he um, what would what the villains would consider a Blessed, someone who might be able to make an impact. But they... He also hears out how these members, or this emperor of the blessed, wants to literally go into world depopulation to try to reset the earth all over again. So that's why he's sort of there. And he. Moving into episodes 9 and 10, uh, 9 is called The Ambival Ambivalent, where 10 is called Wish Upon a Star. Um, this is the synopsis. Ivan and the Emperor discuss human history. Kinesi explains the Emperor's plan for forced human evolution to Gilmore and the remaining cyborgs. Uh, whilst in episode 10, Jet Link faces one of the blessed outside the space station inside Joe and Heinrich. So we do learn in this time that they, Joe and some other cyborgs end up going to space which in this particular space station they've got something set up with certain drones to help cause basically mass depopulation and here they are doing what they can to prevent such an act from happening but in the process they also end up encountering another member of the blessed which you see as somewhat a brain in a brain in a type of fish tank it's the only other way i can sort of explain it it's not perfect but it's definitely interesting as to how that comes across and also how the brain sort of tries or this blessed brain brain tries to explain to joe that this the population of the earth must happen or else um 
society isn't going to evolve to the way that they think it will. And in the process, it just really gets crazy as... Moving into the second last episode, as I mentioned before, I will not be covering the last episode, but I will be moving straight into the ratings after this, and that is, for whose sake, Cyborg007, Freeze Davenport, and Igarashi, Igan reveals his true intent in joining the Emperor as the Cyborgs and the Guardians converge on New York, to which they want to execute their plans. Really interesting episodes, and you got get to see how the Emperor, um, with his particular type of ability, he's actually able to cop- uh, copy other people's abilities, uh, whether they be blessed, or maybe even Cyborg. And it's really interesting in seeing that in the story, and why this particular blessed villain <laughs> is as dangerous as he appears. Um, he's also got, he's able to copy the abilities of even Ivan, to which many of his attacks are somewhat like psychic attacks. Um, so jumping right into the last thing, and that is the area of the racing, but I will mention the last episode by name, even though it's not going to be covered in this review. Um, it is called Beyond the Light. To which the final battle rages in New York. Joe confronts the Emperor, who has wiped out Catalina's memory. So Catalina is sort of like one of the one of the friends that they met along the way, and her name is called Lynx. And she too was a member of the Blessed, but until uh, with the last of certain events in the previous episodes. Um, she ends up losing her memory and being told to basically attack the cyborgs that are there to take out the emperor. And that's sort of like where that comes into it. And it's only going to be even more interesting as to see how the story will pan out after I end up watching it. And I wonder if they will do a second season. It doesn't mean they will, doesn't mean they won't. But I must admit, I really have enjoyed this series first to present episode so jumping into the rating the main characters what do i give the main characters in this story so we've got joe francois and a couple of the others including the main doctor who sort of like oversees um the cyborgs for them i'm willing to give it an 8.5 out of 10 and that that i must admit is pretty high for myself as I have really come to enjoy this series, and I feel that this series has really respected the source material. Uh, even though it's taken place, goodness knows how many years since the last Cyborg 009 series happened. Um, into the supporting characters. Now, I think the supporting characters were pretty well fleshed out, including some of the villains. Even though we don't get to experience a lot of their past, we do actually get to experience um, some of their powers, to which gives you an idea as to how they operate in the world. To that, I'm willing to give an 8 out of 10. Moving to the next thing, the animation in this series. Yes, this animation is in this series sort of, sort of uses like a CGI slash um, 2D but you know what? I really quite enjoyed it, which I'm willing to give the animation in the series even an 8 out of 10. As for the main story of this series, for the main story of this series, I give it an 8.5 out of 10. Well, until then, let's keep it colourful and have yourself an awesome day, and a big thanks to everyone who um, takes their time to listen to these reviews, and to everyone who's subscribed on the channel.